Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on my skincare routine. So I'm going to take off all this makeup and then put a bunch of other crap on my face for you. Now, I don't do anything in the morning, I just use sunscreen. Um, I use the Badger sunscreen, which I, that's the only one I use because, um, first off, chemical sunscreens can actually cause cancer and they can age your skin. So it, it really doesn't make sense to me to wear those because why are you putting it on in the first place? So uh, this is a better option. Um, they make a lotion and they make a cream version and I like both of them but the cream is really heavy and if you're prone to breakouts I'd use the lotion um, but this one's very moisturizing. So that's all I do in the morning and then I put on my makeup but at night that's where I get, it gets pretty serious. <laughs> I start with cleansing my skin and what I love to use is African black soap. Now I've talked about this in other videos um, and I've been using this for years. It's just great for your skin, um, it like really prevents acne, it clears up breakouts, um, and the brand that I really like is called Do Dodo Osun or something like that. Um, I'm going to put a link for it below, but it's cheap, it's like $3, it lasts for like half a year, and it's really gentle compared to the other black soaps, but I mean, the other ones are good too, just what you're looking for really. Sometimes I cleanse with this Valeda, or Willita. Wild Rose Cleansing Lotion. Um, this is like a lotion, you massage it into your face and then you wash it off. Or you can, um, you know, just remove it with cotton pads. And it smells really nice and it's so gentle and um, it's on the pricier side, but I got it as a gift, so that's why I'm using it. Um, then, sometimes I also use this little one right here. This is Charcoal Facial Detox from Destiny Boutique, and uh, yeah, I don't know much about charcoal on skin, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, on days that I don't want to really like um, take a shower and wash my face, and if I'm just having to study really hard, I don't have time to take care of myself, um, I still will use the Yes to Blueberries or Cucumbers a um, Cleansing Facial Towelettes. And so this is kind of like a better than nothing situation. I mean, it's obviously better to take care of your skin and wash it, but you can't always do that. So this is also great if you come home late and you just want to take off the, uh, you know, most of your makeup. And I also use it if I want to refresh my skin throughout the day and try to kind of transition to another makeup look. They are a bit expensive, but sometimes you can get deals on them. So, okay, that's my skin cleansed. And then I move on to toner. Now, the two toners that I've been using lately are the Thayer's Witch Hazel, um, which you can get like just about anywhere, and um, it's just the the little thing on the front is so cute too, and I like the rose petal one just because I love rose water, and it does have a lot of rose water, I think, and yeah. Then I also use a do-it-yourself do it option. I always like to have one on hand to use, because um, this is kind of like, I don't know, it's like seven bucks, so a bit expensive. This is so cheap to make. This is chamomile and vinegar. And I always switch it up. Sometimes I do like um, a red tea, a green tea. There's all kinds of options. And so if you want to see a video on how to make this, let me know. I don't know if anyone's interested. But anyway, so I start, I'll just do this one with here. And then I just, you know, basic toning. And um, I've only been doing this for about less than a year. And I didn't really see the point before, but I think it's really good to tone because it gets all of like the grime and stuff off your skin. <laughs> and because if you're going to be putting like moisturizers on, that could get caught, you know, under the moisturizer and that just sounds like a really bad idea. So I, I tone my skin and I go down on my neck too because I put moisturizer on my neck. Get all that off. So, okay, I toned. Um, after I tone, if I really want to go all out, I don't do this every day, but I do a serum. And I have two serums, the Raz Tightening Serum and the Virgo Botanicals Green Tea Light Moisture Serum. And with a serum, uh, what I've heard is that you should let it sink in for about 10 to 15 minutes before you moisturize. And I, I don't have the time to do that right now, obviously, so I'm just going to put it on. But apparently it's just so concentrated that you want to let it really act on your skin before you put moisturizer on. So I don't put too much on, I just put a bit on. And normally I let that sit for about 10 minutes. 
and then I would move on to moisturizer. So right now my main moisturizer is the Chef de Miel de Nou uh, from Nukes, which I brought bought in France, um, the pharmacy, and this is really nice. It smells so good. It's so moisturizing and it's really natural. Uh, I made sure. Um, donc uh, voilà, c'est ça. J'aime bien. <laughs> and it's almost done, but I'm gonna have to get something else after. I think I'm going to try to make my own moisturizer with like shea butter and coconut oil, maybe. The other one I use sometimes is the, the Juice Beauty Stem Cell Cellular Repair Moisturizer because um, I got a deluxe sample so I'm trying to use that one up. So after I put moisturizer on, I like to use a hydrating spray. The ones I'm using right now are um, rose petals. or rose water and um, the Aven Eau Thermale. So I'm just going to use this one. So you kind of just go <laughs> and it just hydrates the skin. Um, this is also great for setting your makeup. I'm like obsessed with face sprays. It looks so stupid but <laughs> I, th I think it makes a difference. I don't know. Now so I'm done with most of the skin and then I do my like eye area. So basically I take a cotton pad and then I use some kind of oil either like castor oil or this huge tub of coconut oil um, and so I just put it on and you know dab it off but if I'm wearing a lot of make eye makeup and I want to make sure that it's all gone I'll take a bunch of oil just drench my eye area with it take a like steam like boiling hot water okay not boiling hot but really hot water pour it on a rag and then put the rag over my face and it steams the eye area and then you can just wipe it off and it's totally gone sometimes I do that with my whole face you know the oil cleansing method but I like to do it mostly with my eyes. So say I did that and my eyes are totally free of makeup, which I already did take my eye makeup off. And so then I use the Burt's Bees Radiance Eye Cream with Royal Jelly and just kind of take a bit and pat it on. And I'm not like a, um, a really big, like loyal fan of this product. It's just something to use. If you know of an eye cream that's pretty like all natural and you really like it, please let me know in the comments. So that's the you know the majority of my skincare routine. And I think I should mention um, something about castor oil. I remember I did a video on this and I never did an update if it made my eyelashes grow. Um, and it did actually. I, I'm sorry I never did that video, but they do um, they did grow and my eyebrows grew a bit. So I think you should really try it out if you want to try like a cheap natural way to grow your hair. Anyway, um, so that's basically what I do with my skin every night. Sometimes I do like a honey and sugar scrub, um, you know, like on special occasions. Sometimes I use the Clarisonic as an exfoliator because I think it's a bit too harsh to wash your face with that. Like every day, so once a week maybe as an exfoliator. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, and I guess I finish off with Burt's Bees Lip Balm. And I take coconut oil and I put it on my chest, on my neck, on my hands, my elbows, like everywhere. Because <laughs> I have a whole lot of it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or you want to see a video on the do-it-yourself toners, please let me know.